times in my life when I felt God so close, it felt like his arms were wrapped around me and I could, and I could hear his voice so clearly. But honestly, there were times in my life in which I also felt like he was a million miles away and I was doing my best to get to him, but I felt like nothing I could do could make it happen. And, and no matter how loud I would scream that he couldn't hear me. And it was, it was terrifying, but it was what I did in those moments that really defined my walk with God. You see, I, I had a choice about the way that I would react to the, 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 the apparent distance between myself and my God. You know, some people react to moments like that by saying, I don't care how distant God feels, I know He's there. And, and they, they fix their eyes on Him and they continue pursuing Him. But some people, and, and, and this is even what I have done in my life, some people get so afraid that if they stumble, He won't be there to catch them. Some people get so afraid that they've been abandoned or let down or betrayed yet again that they refuse to move forward. That they wander off the narrow road and they say father you're too far I can't make it and they give up and I remember my son whom I love more than anything learning to walk and I remember he would, he would take a step or two and he would fall and he would feel like he was alone and I saw myself in that you know, the, the times in my life in which I stumbled and I fell, uh, and, and the times in my life in which I felt like my father should have caught me, but he didn't, were some of the most painful. But I had to face the reality that, that, that my God was not going to leave me to die. My God was not going to leave me to failure. My God was not going to abandon me because of my own inability, because he did not bring me here to abandon me. He brought me here to turn me in to the man he created me to be. And I want you to think about that for your own life. Think about, think about the, the way that your Father in Heaven treats you. That sometimes maybe He takes a few steps back and it feels like He's far off. And it feels like He's more distant than He used to be. But I, I tell you, if you turn your eyes up and if you see what He's really doing, you'll realize that the God of all creation has knelt down in front of you with His hands out and has said, Beloved son, beloved daughter, I want you in my arms. Will you just fix your eyes on mine? Will you just stumble forward, continue putting one foot in front of the other? Because whether you believe it or not, sooner or later there will come a day, if you continue forward, that you'll fall into my loving arms. And that's what I'm waiting for. And I believe that's what the Father is waiting for. My name is Maddie Montgomery, and God calls me son.